These buildings have featured in TV programs across the world. They form an eye-catching background for the reform and opening up in China. Once again, a more dynamic free trade zone with better trade facilitation and investment attraction measures have come under the global spotlight. Establishing China Shanghai Pilot Free Trade Zone. Is a strategic move of the CPC Central Committee and the State Council to promote reform and opening up under the new situation. As China's first FTZ, Shanghai FTZ is different from FTZs in the traditional sense. It aims to develop scalable practices for transforming government roles, reinventing regulation, and facilitating trade and investment. Its mission is to find new pathways. And accumulate first-hand experience for furthering reform and opening up. The role model effect of the Shanghai FTZ is of strategic importance. Shanghai Free Trade Zone was launched in September 2013 and expanded in April 2015. It grew from four customs areas of 28.78 square kilometers to 120.72 square kilometers. Covering Lu Jiazui Financial Subzone, Zhangjiang High Tech Subzone, and Jinchao Development Subzone, with a special focus on investment, trade, finance, and government function, a slew of fundamental and core institutional innovation were born. Shanghai Free Trade Zone. Was the first place in China to grant pre-established national treatment and issued negative list. After three rounds of update, items on the list was reduced from 190 to 95. Almost 90 percent of sectors are opened up to foreign investment. More than 90 percent of the 8,000 new foreign companies are established through the new record filing system. Cutting the time required from eight business days to only one. It took 20 years to attract as many foreign companies. Outbound investment is regulated by filing a record at the competent department, which takes only three business days instead of a score of days, making local companies more competitive in international markets. Customs. Inspection and quarantine in the maritime authorities have adopted nearly 100 innovative trade measures. Import and export movement were 78.5 percent and 31.7 percent faster than national average, with a 10 percent cut in cost on average. In Shanghai Free Trade Zone, it takes only six hours. For imported fruits to be released after the ship has docked at the Yanshan port, in the latest 3.0 version of single window for international trade, more than 20 government departments and nine functions are integrated, so that 100 of international ship declaration and 95% of import and export declaration are submitted through the system, and the required data input was reduced by two thirds and one third respectively. The free trade zone allows the mixed container consolidation and distribution of domestic and bonded goods, which are stored and supervised in the same warehouse. It is estimated that participating companies have seen their storage cost more than halved, and trade volume increased by 40 percent. Goods bound for both domestic and international markets are handled more efficiently. Financial authorities have offered a 51-point and 40-point reform guidelines, set up a free trade account system, and developed the regulatory framework for key tasks such as capital account convertibility, market-based interest rates, opening financial markets, and RMB internationalization. The idea of FTA is gaining traction. Nearly 30,000 companies from 130 countries and regions have set up 68,000 FTAs, a macroprudential regulatory framework over cross-border capital flows, has helped companies to raise an equivalent of 900 billion yuan through FTAs, a boom to the real economy.
The Free Trade Zone define procedures for nationwide reform of market-based interest rates and took the lead in lifting the cap on foreign currency deposit rate. Among its international platforms for trading financial assets are an international board of Shanghai Gold Exchange, a yuan-dominated Shanghai Gold Fix, Shanghai International Energy Exchange, and Shanghai Insurance Exchange. The framework for financial regulation and risk prevention was developed. Shanghai Free Trade Zone Administration and Pudo New Area Government were rolled into one in April 2015. It is an effort to reinvent government functions and improve public service in the entire district. Four new regulatory bodies were born by consolidating smaller agencies. Business license and administrative permit are fully decoupled, making business registration much easier. Regulatory emphasis was shifted to post-entry supervision. Their regulation system features business self-discipline, industry self-regulation, public oversight, and government supervision. More than 10 million entries of credit information of companies and individuals are available at the public credit information service platform. Annual reports of companies are reviewed for red flags. Private sector players, such as trade associations, are also playing a role. Market dynamism and growth potential are unleashed. Over the past three years, Shanghai Free Trade Zone saw the establishment of 40,000 companies, exceeding the 20-year total prior to its launch. It contributed three-quarters of Pudong's GDP with one-tenth of Pudong's land area. More than 100 of its successful pioneering practices were replicated nationwide. In March 2017, the State Council issued plans for comprehensively furthering reform and opening up of China Shanghai Pilot Free Trade Zone, which encourages Shanghai Free Trade Zone to see constant improvement in serving as a test ground for further reform and innovation, a stress test in open economy, and a leading area with enhanced public governance. It supports the Belt and Road strategy by becoming a bridgehead that helps Chinese companies go global. Its role is enforced through the replication and scaling up of a success across China. We forge ahead to realize the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation.